Hi, this is Jay from Stream Education, and today we're going to be talking about a very special kind of gear called the differential. So the differential gear has a really long history. Although we most commonly associate it with the automotive industry today, its roots come from way back when in ancient China, when the Chinese used it in their chariots. Let's take a look at what kind of problems the differential gear solves. Here's an example of a really, really primitive car. Let's take a look at a primitive car. As you can see, there's four wheels. The front wheels are independent of each other, which means that they spin freely of each other. The rear wheels, on the other hand, are connected through one long, continuous axle, which means that if I spin this wheel, the other wheel spins as well. Now, the reason that I have all of this over here is because in a car, you only have one motor, which means you only have one source of rotating power. To distribute this power across the rear wheels evenly, we have this long drive shaft, which then connects to this crown gear, which then connects to this long axle. When this drive shaft is driven, the power is distributed across these two rear wheels 50-50. Now here's the problem with this kind of setup. Let's pretend our example car was making a turn, just like so. You'll notice that the wheels on the inside of the turn are spinning at a different rate than the wheels on the outside of the turn. If you don't believe me, let's try drawing out the line that this wheel takes in green and this wheel takes in brown. Now, the inside wheels would take a line that looks something similar to this. On the other hand, the outside wheels would take a line that looks more like this. As you can tell, the inside wheels have traveled less distance than the outside wheels, although both wheels have traveled this distance over the same amount of time, meaning that these wheels are spinning at a slower rate than these wheels. Now let's take another look back at our primitive car. If you remember, when I spin this wheel, this wheel must spin at the same rate. Now if I tried to force this car into a turn, what would happen is that one of these two wheels would lose grip and lose a lot of tire life. And if you think about how expensive tires are nowadays, you definitely don't want that happening. This is where the differential gear plays a big role. Let's try replacing this crown gear and gear setup with a crown gear and differential setup. Now, as you, as you can tell, just like the other setup, if I spin this differential, both wheels will spin. Now there are two advantages to having this differential gear in here. The first is that even if I hold this wheel down, the other wheel is going to keep spinning. This is definitely something that you couldn't accomplish with the other setup. And the same applies to the other wheel too. Even if I hold that wheel down, the other wheel will spin as well. The second advantage is that if I am in a situation where I'm holding this wheel down and this wheel is spinning freely, 100% of the rotational force that I apply to this drive shaft is applied to this one axle instead of only 50%. By exploiting the first advantage, we can allow this vehicle equipped with this differential to make an easy, smooth turn without experiencing any extra tire wear. This is why you'll find a differential equipped on most modern vehicles. Unfortunately, all this doesn't really help you very much in the context of robotics, because in most robots, you have one drive motor here and one mo drive motor here, and that's the way you turn and go forwards. So, in the case of robotics, having this differential here, or just having a differential in general in your drivetrain, doesn't help you very much. So, here's how you can use a differential in the context of robotics. Let's take a look at this. In this differential setup, I have a lot of resistance on this axle because how, how heavy this little lever is. On the other hand, I don't have very much re resistance on this axle because of how light this lever is. So when I spin the differential, it'll naturally want to move this side first. See? Now, things get interesting when this lever gets stuck. Let's take a look. If I spin this differential and this lever hits the ground and it gets stuck, What's going to happen is, because there is more resistance now on this side than there is on this side, it's going to start lifting the other lever. See? Now, if I spin it the other way, this, ax this axle and this lever are going to spin the opposite way first, and when it's hit this, it's going to go ahead and start moving this lever. This is a very basic kind of a mechanical touch sensor. Now, you could also use this system to do two different things at once. Let's say that you did this in the context of, let's say, an FLL challenge. In an FLL challenge, you might have to hold something down or make a movement and then make another movement right afterwards. 
Unfortunately, you are limited to four motors, and out of those four motors, you've probably used two of the motors for your drive wheels. Now, having this kind of setup allows you to do two things with just one motor. Now, if you had to, for example, hold something down and then pick something up afterwards, you could have a system where your differential gear runs, pushes down whatever it is you need to push down, and then maybe you could have another lever come out and then capture whatever you might need to capture. In the context of an FLL challenge, the differential gear is a really powerful tool to exploit one motor's power and use it for a whole lot of different activities. Obviously, differential gears are kind of hard to think about if you're not used to them, so don't be afraid to mess around and experiment by trying different things. Remember, you only fail by not trying. So that concludes today's lessons on differential gears. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys will go ahead and try using the differential gears to accomplish some kind of task, easy or hard. This is Jay from Stream Education, signing off till next time. Bye, you guys.